Hi guys, Nicholas Bauer here. Back to you with some fly tying. I don't think we're gonna tie a fly, we're actually going to glue a fly today. It's going to be a quite simple fly, and it was something I played around with maybe two years ago. I was trying to create a very simple sea trout slash perch fly, which of course it works like that too, but I gave a few to a friend of mine, uh, Mr. Kerke, who's a, kind of our sea trout god in Stockholm here. He's been using it for asp, and he says it's the shit for asp. He's been catching every single asp on that fly. So it's kind of time to reveal this pattern. Uh, I caught some sea trout on it. I caught a lot of perch on this fly too, but it's a really killer pattern for asp. The crucial point has been to get this fly to really last because it's basically hook, UV glue, and a wave tail. With playing around with different glues or different UV resins, we made it, or actually I made it to last really, really good. It's a very simple fly, uh, everybody can uh, tie it. The most important thing here is basically that we are using the right hook. And what I want to have uh, in this is, I don't want to have a straight hook because I want to bend the fly a little bit. So it's going to be looking like this. So it's a very, very advanced fly. It is tied to a hook and we want to have that kind of a shrimp hook so you get that little bit bend in it because then it's going to work like these traditional spoon flies and you can fish this really really fast and when you stop it it kind of like just folds down like a lure and it's been super good for asp and sea trout like it too so the choice is the uh, ns 156 the traditional shrimp there's different brands who has the same kind of hooks but it's a traditional hook and a shrimp hook with a little bit bend. So this is gonna be a size six, and we're gonna use an XL uh, wave tail in holographic silver to tie this on. And we're just gonna put some super glue here on the whole hook shank. You wanna basically cover the hook shank much more than you usually would. You, you're going to work down with the thread into the slope, and the thread layer here is very important to get the tail to uh, fixate to the hook. And then we work with the thread all the way forward. Uh, we're gonna take this as a holographic wave tail and there's numerous of colors, but this is a very good bait fish color because based, basically all uh, bait fish are a little bit silver. Put your finger on there, tie it in, make sure it's straight there. Work with the thread backwards. Then you work with the thread forward again and then you can lift this up here a little bit so you see that there's no gap between the hook eye and the wave tail. So this is what we want to have it looking. And that's why we, we tie it forward and flip it because otherwise we're just going to see a lot of thread wraps there. So that's going to be a perfect situation. So go there and now, now we're done with the tying here. Super advanced. It's, now it's going to be more of a gluing the rest of the fly here. So we cut that thread off. And then I'm gonna cover the whole hook shank here and all the thread wraps with the super glue. So basically gonna go with the super glue all over the thread wraps. And then, in my opinion, it's easier to flip this around because it's easier to see what we're doing there. So what I wanna do now is I'm going to fold this and I want to have this in the center of the hook I just do this and show you at the same time. So we're gonna go like this and we're just gonna press it a little bit with your finger so it makes like a, almost like a bowl or just a slight upwards with the tail hair so it really grabs the water, as you can see. If you haven't succeeded with that, you can always play around a little bit when you, when you cure, cure the resin, but otherwise that's good. We're gonna put a quite large eye on this. I wanna have a strong trigger point here. So this is a 5.5 millimeter stick on eye. This is red, so we're just gonna put some super glue on the eye, like we normally do, like this. And we're gonna position it just behind the hook eye. So there we're gonna get a really nice contrast and also a nice trigger point for the, for the fish to react on. And then we're gonna use three different resins. We're gonna use the Gulf Flexman, and then we're gonna use the uh, Thin Man. And we're also going to make like a red, uh, like a lateral line or just a contrast line on the inside with a 
color one. This is the MLS red. So, but we're going to start with using the uh, Flexman on the top here. And if you use a hard resin here, which makes it the fly really, really hard, you're going to put too much stress on the wavetail. So you're basically going to break the wavetail against the glue, uh, against the resin. So that's why I, the first test I had with this, I used the hard resin, but it just broke. So by using the Flexman or a flexible UV resin, you can have that transit over to the wavetail and you're going to have a fly that lost, lasts so much longer. So we're going to cure this or we're going to put resin on the back side here of the fly. So we're going to cover everything here and we're going to go like a centimeter behind where the hook ends. Just so we're going to transit it out to the uh, to the tail here. So basically the hook ends here and the resin ends here. So we're just going to move it a little bit out. And then here you can also play around with the shape. If you want to have a little bit more aggressive shape, you kind of bend it down or if you have a little bit more straight one, it's going to move slower in the water depending on how how you want the fly to move a little bit. So you can play around with different shapes here. Just going to angle this a little bit so we get a nice glue nice and spread all over the fly here. We're just going to cure this. Then we want to change this so on the inside we want to have kind of a um, we want to basically glue and secure this to the um, to the hook. So first I do a thin layer of the red one. I'm going to put this just where the hook is here just so I get a red contrast line over the hook here. Of course this is something you can do with a, with red thread but it just makes it in my opinion looking quite cool. So we are going to harden that. Then we're going to work with the thin man which is a thin clear resin and we're going to work not all the way out if you call these wings not all the way out basically uh, around the hook and one or two millimeters on the side and then we're going to cover everything with the with the flexman resin so basically we're going to go on the side of this of what we already have done here and then we're going to go on the other side of this so it's not a tying a fly, it's gluing a fly tonight. And then we're going to put a, a thin layer on top of the red here. So now we basically have this on both sides here. As you can see, so we have basically the resin is covering this side and the other side. Oops. So we just want to make sure that it's equivalent to both sides here. So we have a good balance. So I'm happy with that. I'm just going to cure that. So this makes it, basically makes the whole fly hold together now. But if you would have put the uh, hard resin all around this, it's going to be quite fragile. fragile. So by putting the Flexman over this, we're going to get a much softer edges and also transit into the tail is going to be much better with the, with the softer UV resin here. So then we put a layer of Flexman on top of this and also basically the same length out in the tail as on the back side. If we say this is the inside and the other the outside is the, the one we have the eye, this is uh, the inside here. So I'm just going to cover this all and I'm going to show you here. And of course if you want to put an eye on the inside here that's possible too. But now it's covered from basically here all the way up. You make sure that you have the correct shape and then we cure this. It's not um, the most advanced fly and it's not going to be the most durable fly. But if you catch a few nice fish on it it's going to be really worth it. And uh, I think it's actually a quite cool and simple fly. So it's with uh, a lot of inspiration from the spoon flies a lot of people are using to fish uh, rainbows and stuff like that. So I highly recommend them to tie them in a smaller size and use like two or three on the same leader. 
That's a, kind of a Paolo Paccarini trick. But yeah, as you can see, you can make them in all different sizes, all different colors, and uh, super simple fly. Tie up a bunch, throw them in your local pond. Good luck. Oh, by the way, if you want to win this or a few of these, leave a comment, please subscribe, and uh, well, we'll leave a bunch for you.